Today I'm going to check some hives that I bought over the winter. Hello, I'm Griff Reeves, welcome to Gwynny Griffith, here we've done everything, beekeeping, farming, countryside living and we do reviews as well. Now today, I'm going to check some hives for the first time, and I bought these hives over the winter, did the deal with a gentleman who was downsizing these hives at his daughter's house, they were selling up, so these hives had to move and he offered them for sale to me, we worked out the price, I said yes. And like anything, when you do a deal over the winter, you can't actually see the hives. So we've agreed a deal in principle, as long as these bees are number one alive, healthy enough, got brood and everything, then we'll uh, get these hives paid up. But in fairness to him, he did say he thinks one hive is not gonna make it. So there's four here. And uh, three of them are very active. I can see the pollen going in, so I think three of them are going to be fine. But um, yeah, don't know what uh, is in front of me, but um, let's take a look and uh, see what these hives are like. That's hive number one. Number three, definitely not much activity at all happening there. And then number four. So this hive has been left on with the super over winter. Looks like the Queen of Sluda is still in place as well. Wouldn't recommend wintering bees on with the Queen of Sluda on. So the reason being is just in case these bees move up to cluster, the Queen can't come up with them. Um, fresh nectar coming in, starting to cap it off. I'm not sure how much of this hooper is actually this year's spring honey. But all the uncapped stuff is definitely this year. So, yeah, these bees are making a little bit of honey. Probably still a quarter super so far. It's looking pretty good, here. Yeah? So we'll take this super off. You can see a bit of ginger in them. It'll be a bit of Buck fast bit of Welsh black in these. Pretty much what I've got. Give that a shake. In fact, the queen isn't up there. She's not. And look at that. That is a box full of bees. So what I really want to see now is some brood. Give this a little quick disease check today bit of an MOT before it's going to be integrated into my system. Little bit of chalk there in two combs, three combs. Nothing major, nothing to worry about. What do you do when you see something that's just a little bit sunken? Peel that off, and there's brood underneath. So, what I was looking there for was AFB. So, when you see sunken caps, then you peel that cap back, and it's just black, squidgy, smelly liquid. Then that's telltale signs of foul brood. But no far brood. So you've seen a little bit of chalk, 
that's it so far bees looking pretty good no drones here yet a nice, solid frame of brood that is that is a nice frame yeah don't mind what i'm seeing here very happy so far Yeah, only now these bees are really kicking off. There's the queen, marked white. Put her back in there, don't wanna disturb her too much. Yeah, these bees are good. Now if the other three are like this, I know one of them is not. But if the other three is like this, yeah, I'd be happy to pay what we've agreed. That's it. That's all the brood. No disease, it's all a little bit of chalk brood. Nothing major. Scrape this bit of comb off the top. Well, that's that first inspection done. Very pleased with what I've seen there. Gonna do the other three. I might film a little bit more, but I don't want this video to go too long, just me doing a, a really deep inspection on some bees. And uh, we'll talk a bit more at the end of this video about what you should do if you're doing a deal on buying bees in the winter. What's the do's and don'ts of doing that. So, see you in a bit. That's the super on the second hive. I can't argue with that. Well, so far so good. I have supered these two up. These two are really good. And we'll do this one next. And then I'm going to do the dead out. Oh, here's the third one. Looking pretty good, not as strong as the first two. Frames the foundation in there. So, let's go in a bit deeper, see if there's a lane queen. Got a bit of an audience here today. Oh, the queen is there. There she is, marked white again. There's plenty of brood in here. I haven't seen anything that I'm worried about yet. But just goes to show the difference. I keep talking about it on my channel. I've got Buckfast bees, I've got Welsh black bees. Look at the colour on these. These are your Welsh black bees. These are much slower building up than the Buckfast types. So these two, I doubt that they're pedigree Buckfast, but they're going to be a Buckfast cross type Welsh black, that kind of strain, or just your locally adapted bee. Exceptionally good. And then you've got your pure black bees here. A little bit slow start off the season, but nonetheless still very healthy. And they're not aggressive, even though they're flying around. Nothing is here trying to sting me. So, finish off the inspection here. Continue to check for disease, foul brood especially. And if everything's clear, then these bees will be moved into one of my permanent sites. I'm just lifting a frame like this. I don't normally keep my hives on pallets because this, this is the cold way for me now. I like to be on that side of it and the sun is behind me. So I'm just turning the frame so that the sun hits the frame so I can see into every comb. Good. 
one more frame and this is probably going to be frame stores yeah plenty of pollen plenty of fresh nectar coming in I am going to super this though because in a week to two weeks time this box is going to be probably twice the size or twice the amount of bees in here so I'm going to super it now and forget about it I don't have to worry about this then for a couple of weeks I'm going to spread that comb see where the honey let the bees clean that next week that'll be totally dry and that can go in the melting pot now what I want to show you really quick here is these straps these are original span set straps now these are the best beekeeping straps that you could ever buy now I promise the gentleman I was going to give these straps back to him when I phone him up now to tell him the good news or the news that he's expecting to get, get, receive I'm going to ask him can I buy these straps off him it takes a bit of working out how these straps work but once you know they're really really good I much prefer these than was to a ratchet strap these are that solid design for beekeeping right this is the hive that's died as you can see hasn't touched the fondant that i gave it when it first came here in here so uh, grab the camera uh, uh, there is one seam of bees which I uh, don't think this is gonna come to anything uh, but let's take a look uh, see if we can diagnose the problem and I think the diagnosis is no queen queen has failed and this handful of bees that's trying to rear some drone brood so maybe they've got a, a laying worker in here it's probably the case so what you do when you've got a drone laying worker like this and not many bees you just you just shake the bees out this hive there's no risk in it there's no point adding a frame of brood or anything to this hive okay so we checked four hives that I bought there over winter without seeing them now I've agreed a price with the gentleman and in fairness to him he already told me that he thinks one of the hives is not going to make it and that is exactly how you do a deal of buying bees in the winter you don't pay for them in the winter because you could buy a load of hives in the winter come spring half of them could be dead now there's no good reason to buy any bees over the winter unless you're buying them in the winter and then you're going to get them in spring or inspect them in spring and then pay for them because 
like anything you do get winter losses and that is the safe way of buying bees but this deal was 100% legit the gentleman who was selling the hives to me had a genuine reason to sell the bees he was a genuine honest man telling me that he thinks one of the hives is gonna die and take a look at him in spring and then pay me and that's exactly what I'm gonna do now so everything he said turned out to be true three good hives he thinks one bad one I didn't realize they came with span set straps so I'm gonna try and buy them now as well and yeah that's how you inspect and I suppose buy some bees in the winter a little bit of hints and tips there for you well that's it for this video hopefully you enjoyed it and don't forget if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content then please subscribe to my youtube channel i try my best to upload new videos every week thanks for watching